Essential Risk Management for Legal Support Staff Managing the Risks Insurance Insurance plays a role in minimizing financial risk. All practices have automatic but limited and specified cover for professional indemnity or PI claims through the AIIF. Ensure that you are familiar with the policy scope found on the AIIF website. Secondly, the AFF protects specifically the public or client by compensating them if a practice misappropriates their trust money and the practice is unable to refund them. This, however, does not protect the practice or any of its members. Specific insurance needs to be put in place for misappropriation of funds. Remember that there may be excesses to be paid and that additional cover options are available. Essential Risk Management for Legal Support Staff Proactive Risk Management Common Areas that Lead to Claims The vast majority of claims notified to the AIIF are caused by a lack of supervision of staff, inadequate diary systems, a failure to adopt and or implement an appropriate minimum operating standards or MOS system. Prescription of Road Accident Fund or RAF claims. Paralegals or conveyancing secretaries dealing with matters unsupervised and the failure of lawyers and their staff to adhere to the ethical standards and principles of the profession. Crucially, a minimum operating standards or MOS needs to be put in place. The MOS should cover professional standards and practice related office procedures like file notes, filing and diary management, client care, billing and management of trust and business money, engagement management, drafting and document retention. The MOS should also include rules relating to delegation and supervision. Essential Risk Management for Legal Support Staff Supervision Effective supervision is important and it should empower people while providing broad guidelines, appropriate training, review and constructive feedback. There must be clear reporting lines in the firm. Successful plans used by well-run practices usually incorporate policies and procedures for delegation and supervision such as a procedure for checking all incoming documents, pleadings and correspondence and directing them to the appropriate person for further action. The use of file audits to be conducted regularly, particularly in the case of new or junior staff. Regular meetings or brainstorming sessions to discuss interesting or problematic matters and new legal developments. Effective mentoring systems an open-door policy and the encouragement of mutual respect and openness, effective workload and time management, integration of legal processes into IT workflow management programs, non-judgmental and solution-focused approaches in providing feedback, identification and tracking of the completion of all corrective actions, Client complaint procedures to alert the firm to where there is any client dissatisfaction. Checking activity on matters in the practice's financial records and diary system. Regular accounting for the whereabouts of all client files. Proper induction, training and development of staff. Where there is no or minimal or ineffective supervision in your firm, manage up. Diplomatically raise this as a cause for concern with the person that you report to and suggest procedures you have learned here. Every staff member must realize that the whole practice should act as a team. You should be able to rely on one another to properly carry out your function in a risk-free manner. Remember all action or inaction has consequences.